Hello friends, welcome to SQL Practical Question Series. So in this video, we are going to write a query to extract the first name, middle name, last name and the domain name from the given email ID. In fact, this video is also quite similar to the previous video, but there is one slight difference between the previous video and this video is that in the previous video, the input uh, mail ID what we have taken is all of same format. That means all the input mail IDs have all these three names, the first name, followed by middle name, followed by the last name, then followed by the domain information. So we actually uh, return a query to extract all these information into an individual column like first name, uh, middle name, last name and domain name. Whereas in this video, we are just going to write a query to extract from the mail ID where there is no proper format. For example, some mail IDs like this will have all these three names, whereas a few mail IDs will have only the first name and last name few mail IDs will have only the first name. So we need to extract, if, if all the three names exist, then we need to extract the first name, middle name and last name. Otherwise, we just need, otherwise, if there is only the first name and last name, we just need to extract only the first name and the uh, last name. Then if there is only one name, we just need to extract as the first name. Okay, now let us see how to uh, write a query for this kind of uh, situations. So I'm creating the table to store the test uh, mail IDs here. So I'm just inserting the data here. Let me commit it. Okay, so here is the list of email IDs we have stored. Now let us start writing the query from here. So let me write select star from the table. Okay, now uh, we can extract the name portion and the domain portion. So obviously the at the rate is the delimiter here. So the portion before the at the rate is the name portion and the portion after at the rate is the uh, domain portion. So let me just put minus one. So we have extracted the name portion that is from the first position till the at the rate position. The position before the at the rate position. Same way to extract the domain. We can start from the position, the next position of the at the rate till the end. So to exclude the add rate, we can put plus one so that we can get from the next position of the add rate. Now that we have just extracted the name and the domain, let me make this as a with class query. So let us select the mail ID, uh, name portion and the domain portion. Fine. Now that we have extracted the mail ID, uh, domain name and the name portion. Now we can start extracting the first name, middle name and last name. So the logic here is that uh, if there is two dots, then that means uh, that particular uh, mail ID has all the three name. If there is only one dot, then it has only first name and the last name. So uh, first let us find the first dot position and the second dot position. So I'm just using the instinct to get the first dot position and the second dot position. So in the second dot, we are extracting the second occurrence of the dot. So we just got the first dot and the second dot position. Now. Uh, let us first select all this information like mail id, a domain, name, first dot position and the second dot position. Then we can start extracting the first name, middle name and the last name. Okay, as is missing. Fine. Yeah. Now we have just extracted mail id, domain name, name, first dot position and the second dot position. So the logic to extract the first name is that First, we'll find the position till where the first name exists. That means uh, if uh, there is no dot, then the entire name is a first name. So first, we'll find out the uh, uh, first, we'll check whether the first dot is zero or not. If it is zero, then the entire length of the name is the first name. Otherwise, the first dot position. So now we found the uh, place till where the first name exists. Now we can extract from the first position till that position. Either uh, the length in case if the first dot is zero, otherwise the first dot position. Now that we just extracted the first name, let's exclude the dot, we'll put minus one here. So now we just got the first name, we'll just give a meaningful alias, something like f underscore name. Yeah, now that we have just got the first name, now let us start extracting the middle name. So the logic to extract the middle name is that if there is a second dot exist, then middle name is there. If second dot is zero, then middle name is null. So first we'll put a decode of second dot 
if second dot is zero, so we don't have a middle name. Otherwise, we'll extract the uh, data from the first dot position till the second dot position. So we can say substring of n comma first dot start from the first dot position to the length. Length is nothing but the second dot minus the first dot. So now that we have just extracted the middle name, let us let us exclude the initial dot. So we'll put plus one. So we'll exclude the final dot also. We'll put a minus one. So we so we just extracted the uh, middle name. Let us give a meaningful alias here. Fine. We just got the middle name. Now let us extract the last name. So last name is uh, quite straightforward. If both dots are zero. then there is no last name otherwise so if both dots are zero we'll just put null because like in case of ravi at the outlook uh, we don't have a middle name as well as a last name uh, same way if there is second dot zero then we need to consider from the first dot position till the last as the last name otherwise from the second dot position till the last for that i'm just using a decode here So if second dot is zero, you consider from the first. Otherwise, you consider from the second. So this will give us the uh, last name. Let us exclude the final dot. We'll just put a <coughs> minus one here. <coughs> Sorry, we'll put a plus one so that we can uh, exclude from the dot position. Yeah. Now that we have just excluded the uh, dot, also we'll give a meaningful alias, something like a uh, l underscore name for last name. Okay. Now, if you want, uh, we can exclude the unnecessary intermediate calculations. Whatever we did, we'll just make this as another uh, with class select uh, query, so that we can select only the whatever the informations we want as part of a final query. Because we don't want to display all the unnecessary information in the final query. We just want to display only the meaningful information for the user. Okay, it's because of the alias name. Yeah, we'll make this as a middle name instead of last name. Yeah. Now that we just extracted the first name middle name last name from the mail id so uh, as i mentioned we just extracted the first name middle name last name and the domain name from the given id where there is no uh, specific pattern exist because few names have all the three name if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos interview questions skill practical questions and concept videos thanks a lot for watching this video